here's a little magic trick I'll teach you. Now, I think I've shown this on other things. But I've been practicing it for years. Okay? I'll just show it to Arlo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah. Okay. Nothing, yeah. nothing in the hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Aaron Draplin, a graphic designer born and raised in Michigan, has worked for everyone from Apple to the federal government to, well, Huckberry. He's known for his no-bullshit approach, use of thick lines and bold colors, and a slow, handmade design process that puts people first. I'm Arlo Crawford, the managing editor of the Huckberry Journal. I get to talk to all kinds of crazy bastards as part of my job, people who take big creative risks and commit themselves, body and soul, to the results. Originally, I visited Aaron's backyard studio in Portland, Oregon to hear about his collaboration with Huckberry and Field Notes, part of our artist series. But after an hour together, we'd moved on to magic tricks, his soft hands, and why he loves a big old box of sharpies. So I guess, yeah, why should I care about Aaron Draplin and what he does? What, what, what makes you special? What I would hope is when you come and look at my mess, you understand clearly that this has been a triumph in working in the tiny little shitty little leagues, sometimes going to bat in the big leagues, but what's important is just thinking about it along the way, and I, I hope that people would see that. Commitment to trying to live a creative life and work with my friends and, you know, it's a privilege to be back here. Your point you just made about what makes you special maybe is that you've been able to kind of stick with your passion and really kind of a, a genuineness that I think of as kind of a Midwestern kind of earnestness. Do you think that's true? I think everything is learned, okay? You know, people like to throw around um, in these interviews and podcasts, you know, oh, you're like a blue collar designer. And it's like, no, 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 no. I've been lucky to get ahead and yet understand what it was like to work in the summer in a factory. Understand what it was like to work <sighs> trimming trees all summer long, trimming trees, you know, whatever. So what I've tried to bring to graphic design is this ability to talk to every single person of graphic design. And that means it's the person in the back running the, the forklift, mm -hmm. you know, lifting up your posters onto a skid. That's just as important. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm thinking about here? You're gonna have to stay sweatpants and above because this <laughs> is garbage down here. I'm just trying to be loose. Is there something in, in this space that, you know, you think really represents some of those Midwestern values? Oh. I'm sure there's a lot of things. But. So, you know, what's cool about you know, the, the hats that I grew up on is they were undesigned. Yeah. A feed and seed, a fungicide brand, brands, brands, brands. It was advertising on this vessel that they gave to farmers and, and, and truckers and things. And they would, you know, think about that across the nation, people are crisscrossing and they're seeing these things in a field at a truck stop. And they're seeing these brands and things, Case International, I know you know what that is. That's just a classic. It's, it, it doesn't go out of style. What is like, a, what is a, a piece, an analog piece of equipment in this space that you would never get rid of? Here, jump over here. And then I want you just to just do a big old dive into this thing here called markers and pencils and things you can get cut on here, okay? Sharp things, stuff. The idea that like my best ideas start on paper and if I have a marker and a pencil and then a black Sharpie, I can add a little bit of color to something really quick and really fast, but, but it starts there. But there's just something about the reminder of having all this stuff around here. It's a metaphor for me to re remind myself to stay slow, to slow my ass down. So the field notes, the-, the Let me get a word in edgewise, yes, people. Please. Go buy these right now from Huckberry. Go buy them right now. We made them this summer. And it wasn't supposed to happen. Give me the cocktail things. <laughs> they come in three little flavors. You got a little bit of Huckberry. You got a little bit of DDC bric-a-brac. You got some DDC thick lines. And I got to work with these guys from Huckberry. I've been a fan of this stuff for all these years. They come to us to make some field notes. We've been talking about it for years. And they are now a kick-ass little, you know, fairly priced little three-pack. Go buy them from Huckberry. Okay. What is one thing in here that, that is bullshit? Feel these hands. They're pretty soft. Feel them. Yep. I mean, I just oh, washed them. Nice I mean, they're very soft. Oh, really nice. Those are the hands of a graphic designer not doing <laughs> shit, just collecting paychecks in his backyard. That's what they feel like. All right, get out of yeah. here. That's it, Arlo. Uh, How much more content can these people take? You know, just so many gigapixels and bullshits and things. Get out of my shop. Thanks, everybody. See you around.